The outlook for Idaho's 2020 potato season was very promising at the beginning of the year. Then, in the middle of March, with the impact of the coronavirus becoming apparent here in the United States and globally, everything changed. It was fantastic. <laughs> clear, clear up until the, the virus hit, you know, I was telling people I farmed, I farmed for 48 years waiting for a year like this because it, it kind of was the perfect storm, you know, we, we, we had a few less acres, so less potatoes, and it looked like it was going to be a good marketing year, and I happened to have a good crop, good, pretty good yields and, and excellent quality, so I was kind of licking my chops thinking this is going to be a real good year. And, and just before, prior to that hitting, you know, our, our fresh returns were $12, $13 a sack. Our, our market was really good for another week or so. Uh, food service slowed down, but, but uh, retail was, was asking for more because, you know, everybody's starting to go to the grocery stores. But it, it started to affect us because we are, you know, our shed's built for probably 85% food service, cartons, and, and we do some consumer bags, but it's not our focus. And so all of a sudden it was, it was retail, it was wanting potatoes, and so we were trying to figure out how to move our carton stuff to, to retail. And, and then, you know, the commission started pushing bigger size bags, bigger size profile potatoes in, in 15, 20 pound bags, and we, we got some of that market. So. It, it was a real slowdown for about a month. It looked like it was a, you know, a slam dunk, a home run. Everything had lined up and the Idaho growers looked very positive towards uh, having a, a favorable market return for 2019. The demand for potatoes was good. Dehigh products was good. Uh, restaurants were booming. Just the whole sector of the economy was in balance and people were spending money and particularly going out to eat and enjoying social events. It was just like an overnight avalanche of uh, panic and, and extreme caution and uh, life as we have known it to that point changed dramatically. Like one move in this potato world affects another and so because of this pandemic, uh, the uh, friars, the French fry producing entities, uh, panicked and they took a lot of their inventory, 2019 inventory, and dropped it into the fresh and dehigh markets. So they oversupplied those markets in order to cut their own inventory and not have to fill their freezers up. Additionally, they have uh, reduced uh, contracts for fries uh, about 20%. And so it's just a double whammy in that sector of the potato world, which then trickles over or floods over into the fresh and DI industries as well. We're struggling. Um, you know, the market has dropped in half uh, for value. And not only that, it's just hard to find a home for these potatoes. and things were going really good. Fresh market looked like maybe two years in a row it was going to be decent. Yeah. And seed was an issue, right? Going into this year, seed was short. So, yeah, did a little seed and had a spot for it because it was either that or if you're going to grow an open potato, might as well be one that somebody wants. Yeah, but it's, a, it's <laughs> a big, uh, yeah. it was a big change this year. The coronavirus uh, caused a lot of, lot of havoc you know whether you agree with how they're handling it uh, as far as shutting down uh, you know it caught everybody flat-footed and blind uh, and pretty devastating to the potato industry it, it wiped out a lot of the market uh, not only here but Asia Asia was a big deal um, for us uh, domestic markets a big deal for us and you just can't you know, people, you know, the, the fresh industry showed a little spark there for about 10 days, but the amount of french fries eating out of restaurants uh, is a huge deal. Why and, not? and baked potatoes. I know this year it was, I mean, we had got the 13 open, $13 open price there at the end of February. Uh, and there's, I mean, there was no reason for potatoes, Burbank's, not to be at 
15 to 16 dollars as we're speaking right now that's where it was going um, the demand was climbing had been for the last five years um, and potatoes were short you know I don't have enough potatoes supplied market and uh, just enough and there was a lot of people after them but when you chop demand in, you know by a third uh, in about five days, it doesn't take long to create a big wreck, and that's that's what happened. You know, do you, do you blame that? No, you know, it's it's an act of God, I guess, COVID-19 or the coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. At the beginning of the season, I could sell, you know, if we would have had a, a nice crop that I knew was going to make it, you know, if we didn't have the frost, I could have sold a bunch of potatoes and stuff. But we try to, we try to have them all contracted. And so is what we did is we, you know, those uncontracted guys that were looking for potatoes, I actually, we turned them down because I didn't know how they were going to sort out. And so we really, um, we cut back a lot on that because we knew we were going to be short. And so I was saving potatoes for the guys that always get spuds for me. And, uh, and so we were just making sure that we could get them covered and it looked like we were going to need every single one of them to make sure that we covered all our contracts we had. And then it goes from that to crash to you've got a whole bunch of more spuds that you've got to try to get rid of and, and people backing out of contracts. And, 